In 1995, 20 years after its debut, Chicago's Steppenwolf Theater and the DuSable Museum of African American History restaged Colored Girls as part of Steppenwolf's educational outreach program. There are seven women in Colored Girls. Each has stories to tell, songs to sing, and complaints to make, especially about the men in their lives. That nigga be back tomorrow talking about us. I'm sorry. Get this. My old man come telling me, baby, I don't know how she got your number. I'm sorry. <laughs> Now, uh, baby, you know I was high. Mm. Sorry. Uh -huh. Now, baby, I'm only human. <laughs> and you know, inadequacy is what makes us human. And baby, if we was perfect, we wouldn't have nothing to strive. Oh. <laughs> so you might as well go on and forgive me, pretty baby, because you know I'm sorry. So in the 70s, Colored Girls Shut was up. considered by some people to be a male bashing play. But I think we've grown a lot in the 90s and, and are accustomed to hearing or are at least used to hearing women talk about their feelings, about how they're being treated by men, by themselves, by their environment. And so men reacted a little differently to this play. They, they applauded it. They said that they should bring their wives, their daughters. They felt that it was very uh, relatable to themselves. No, this one is it. This one is it. <clears throat> I do, yeah. Like I do, yeah. Cause I thought you could take it. Now I'm sorry. Hey. Now I know that you know I love you, but I ain't ever gonna love you like you want me to love you. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> We do discussions after all our plays here for the Education Outreach Program, and we ask the students, teachers, audience members if they have any questions. And the questions um, and answer period for colored girls was very emotional because of the piece was. And that was the thing that I think was the rallying cry of for colored girls in the 90s is that more people found it accessible and felt very comfortable about discussing how it related to them, how it moved them, how it angered them, whatever, how it touched their lives. And, and that was what our goal was, to touch people. That's what theater should do. I love what you're doing. It's giving me a better perspective and a deeper perspective. I understand, there's men out here that we know we hurt too. Perhaps the scene in Colored Girls that touches the audience most revolves around the story of Crystal, whose drunk, jilted boyfriend breaks into her apartment and grabs her children. And he held the children off of the sail. You're gonna marry me. Yeah, I'll marry you anything. Just bring the kids back in the house. But will he look from where the kids was hanging from the fifth story? And all of the people screaming at him. And he started sweating again. Say all the neighbors, you gonna marry me. As audiences gasp at the tragedy they've just shared with the actors, they experience the raw power of the theater. The future of African-American theater would bring more such moments. We'll be back with the conclusion of a stage of our own.